Philip Olivetti was airlifted out of danger. Oh, I'm uh, just happy to be alive at the moment and um, glad that the nine kids are safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was getting lowered down um, by the rescue workers. Oh, I hit the ground and it's at times like that you don't often think of funny things to say, but I did. And I turned to the rescue workers and I said, talk about a rough day at work. Talk, that was uh, <laughs> referring to the spending the time up there being pretty rough. <laughs> talk about a rough day at work. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie, how are you mate? Phil, donkey. Phil. Leaving the police force, yeah. it's been weird. It I've always been a really popular guy down at the station. I think while this, this new life is all great for me, uh, not having me down there has been really tough on my mates. So who's got my desk? Yeah. Oh, you gotta go? Good, okay mate. All right, so, so all of the guys, cool. Maddie from work, the classic guy, <laughs> yeah. Donkey, donkey, that's, that's what he says when I ring. Uh, don't, they call me donkey down the station. Yeah, I've got a really big penis. It's um, one of God's little favours. Yeah, you can tell by hand span. So, you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, it's good for me to spend more time with the kids. Stop. 28 seconds. Get in. And the kids really seem to enjoy having Dad around a bit more often. Excellent. It's fun, isn't it, Maddie? It's fun. Bad. It's a bad game. We've come up with a range of backyard games that uh, the kids seem to love. And soccer's a big one for me. Don't be a bloody idiot, Jordan. Yeah, hilarious, hilarious. No, I think it's good for Jordan's development and good for him to have a male influence around. You got your seatbelt on? Yeah. Make sure that's on, mate. It is. If I have a head on, you'll could get decapitated by that seatbelt. Rescue hero Phil Olivetti quit his job with the police force to pursue a career as a motivational speaker. Uh, Kayla knows I need a microphone, I hope, Jordan. No. You didn't mention it? No. Oh, that's great, isn't After it? After weeks of campaigning, he's finally secured his first speaking engagement. How are you going, Warwick? Good to see you. Came into the, the best parking spot. Quiet, please. Can you all sit down in your position? Um, my dad's going to talk to us about rescuing. Uh, he was on the news for the Jumpy bravery Castle Award. theme. Mention the bravery award. Um, yeah, so here's my dad, Phil. Settle down, settle down. Thank you, Jordan, and good afternoon, boy and girl scouts. Hello, Ray Martin. Sorry, wrong speech. Today, we are talking about rescue techniques. What would you do in an emergency situation? Do you have the skills to react accordingly? I doubt it. Hand up if you think you'd know what to do. You, you'd know, you would know what to do, would you? What's your name? Harriet. Harriet. You'd, you'd be completely confident with what to do in any rescue situation. If I say, for example, the, the scout hall is stormed by some terrorists and they, a sniper from up in that tree shoots R. Kayla in the head and he falls down in a pool of blood, you'd, you'd know what to do, would you? What would you do? How would you deal with that? Because I know how to deal with that and I will run through that later. Okay, up on your feet and let's head outside. Check the mobile. Yep, cool. All clear. One missed call. Oh, that's from the thing, girl. This is Dad's um, golf trophy. Dad's a lot of memories with this thing, actually. Dad used to chuck this at Mum. He'd chuck it at her, you know, if she was nagging him. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, he's a good, good bloke, Dad. I remember her actually being, um, being about 10 or 11 and um, yeah, it was time for the big talk, the big big dad talk. Went into the shed and he goes, listen mate, uh, your body's going to start changing soon. Things are going to happen. Uh, and he just cut to the chase. He, he uh, pulled down his pants, showed me his bush. 
And uh, I think, looking back on it, I actually appreciate getting a visual on it and knowing that I had nothing to be, be afraid of. I reckon I should call the Strain of the Year people. Yeah. Yeah, Phil cool. is the only nominee to have not yet heard whether he has made it into the finals. Um, just wondered if you, you had any information regarding uh, the finalist for, to, for today and who's heading down to the Nationals. Yeah, wondered if you're... I have not one today. Um, yeah? You've, you got a, a list there or something? Because I'd be... Phil Olivetti, I'm the Jumping Castle guy. Yeah, I'll just... Be on the list somewhere. Okay, I found your application. Look, it seems that unfortunately... Yeah. Cool. Okay. Bye. Um, down in Canberra. Excellent. Oh, that's good news, isn't it? Yeah, good news. Good. Okay. Great then. Thanks, Seth. Thanks, Sonia. See you, the See you later. Good luck with the rest of the calls. Okay, good. Good in. Got in. Yep. How'd you go? Ah, oh, good, good. Well? What? <laughs> what did they say? They said, um, got in, yeah, got in. Fantastic. That's good. You eat all the yogos, Jordan? No, uh, probably Randy. Yeah. So when is it? When? Yeah. Oh, it's November sometime. Is it a formal do or...? Uh, yeah, like a... yeah, it's, um... Uh, I think like it's semi-formal. It's, it's a dinner at a hotel kind of function. Do you know what hotel? Um, the Mercury Star. It's four star. It's not. It's actually not that good. Well, I think it's great news. It's good. You don't seem very excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yep, 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 yep. See? Going down, going down. Going down. The camera.